Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for iPad today is provided by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. Coming up, games are hot on iOS, and we're going to show you some of the latest and the greatest. Plus, Bing Lassoos, or is it Lassos? Get YouTube Vids into iMovie, and it's marathon time. All that and a bag of chips, but not really on iPad today. iPad Today is brought to you by Squarespace.com, the fast and easy way to create a high-quality website or blog. For a free trial and 10% off your new account for six months, visit Squarespace.com and use the offer code iPadToday7. And by Netflix. Watch thousands of TV episodes and movies on your PC, Mac, iPad, iPhone, or TV instantly. All stream directly to you, saving you time, money, and hassle. For your free 30-day trial, go to netflix.com slash twit. And by audible.com. To download the free audiobook of your choice, go to audiblepodcast.com slash iPad Today. Hello, everybody. Welcome to iPad Today. Saturday. Leo Laporte, what's and, going on with you? Well, I'm just all at sixes and sevens. What does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> You've never heard that either? Your six isn't... So seven. Sarah and I are having a debate, and I'd like you to help me in yeah. this debate. I think it might be generational. Do you but think it's pronounced ahead. debate? So we're battling over the pronunciation of L-A-S-S-O. That's right. Now, I say lasso because it ends in an O, and that's how you say the word. <laughs> With the, 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 the thing, that the rope the cowboy the swings cowboy around stuff, his head. The caballeros. Yeah, the caballeros. I say, for some reason, I don't know why, I've always said lasso. Lasso. Not even Lasso, Lasso. No, the Indonesian uh, president, Suharto, yes. is known in Indonesia as Suartu. Really? Now, I don't think this has anything to do with our Lasso conversation, but you're not alone. Well, you may be wrong on that because I believe the Lasso was invented in Indonesia. No, I don't think <laughs> no. that's true. That's no. no, There's no way that's correct. By the way, chat room, you can shut up. We don't, this is not a democracy. You don't get to vote for Sarah. Yeah! <laughs> Realm on my side. <laughs> so today we're gonna have some fun. We are gonna have some fun. So this is the reason that we're gonna have fun. Uh, and when we say fun, we're talking about games because everybody likes playing games, whether they're iPad games or head games. It's all a lot of fun. Oh, oh, fun and games. The folks at Nielsen, who of course we know for TV ratings, do a lot of other ratings type of. Uh, they make charts and graphs and just show that what, what people's habits are. And they had uh, put out a report yesterday talking about what are the most popular mobile app categories right. online. Right. And by a landslide, and this is not just iOS, this is actually across all mobile platforms, but particularly on iOS, it's games by a landslide. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Although it's, in, it's shocking in one way because games on, on portable devices used to be terrible. I mean, when you had a BlackBerry and the games on BlackBerry, they're awful. Yeah. But the iPhones changed all of that. It has, yeah. On, uh, on even the, uh, the iOS platform... 93% of people polled said they'd pay for games. Now, we were talking about this a little bit on TNT yesterday, and it's like, well, yeah, I mean, it's kind of like how iTunes was successful with music. It's like 99 cents doesn't sound like a lot to people. It's yeah, $5 it's, for that's a why song. it's so successful. Yeah. It's easy. So you got to pray. It's all about how you price games. And they're casual games, which right. means you don't have to put a lot of commitment into them. And right. I like that too. Although with the iPad, I think some of the games are not just these simple little dum dum games where you just click around. There's a lot more to them. Which, of course, is why we're talking about it today. This is one of the most sophisticated games I've ever played. I don't... Really? No. Okay. So, this game that you're about to show <laughs> is sweeping the Twitter it's, it's nation. It's pretty new, isn't it? Yeah. It's, it was uh, released on the 3rd, I believe, of July, or maybe the 1st, but it was last week. As usual, I get and my game... And it has, like, 8,000 reviews it's in the huge. App Store. It's huge. What's so going on? This is Tiny Tower. Uh -huh. Now, it's kind of a hybrid between uh, SimCity and... And Farmville or We Rule. You uh, you own a tower, as you can see. I've just started playing, and I only have four floors. But shall I build another floor? Yes. All right. So let's build another floor. You see, I've accumulated four thousand coins, so I can build another floor because it costs thirty-seven hundred and fifty coins. So I'm expanding my tower now. As you play the game, you'll build the tower up, but then you also have to run the high rise. 
Uh, that means, for instance, things like finding people in the lobby and bringing them up to the appropriate floor. If you find the elevator too slow, by the way, you can upgrade your elevator to be supersonic. The first level I built was apartments, but you can see it's fully occupied now. I also built an Asian restaurant. For some reason, nothing's happening in my Asian restaurant. It's closed, as is my comedy club. Closed. Maybe somebody can Money help me. Money laundering fronts, perhaps. <laughs> and now I have a new floor that I just built, and so I can decide what I'm going to do. You know, one of the things I really need to do, there's a lot of demand for creativity. You have to keep your people happy. There, it's, That's where it's like a Sim City. Uh, I can hurry this construction up. Um, and this is important. The reason I mention this, with two bucks. Now, I have ten bucks right now, but bucks are how you actually... This is a free game, but this is how they make money. Just as in Farmville and We Rule with mojo and so forth you buy additional bucks with real dollars but you don't have to in fact lately oh a photo studio has been built in my tower it sells pet portraits single portraits and family portraits so that's what it stocks is pet portraiture now before i can open for business i have to hire some people unfortunately i don't have any people so that was probably a dumb thing to build i should have built another apartment building um, I, I've used up all my people. They're all occupied in the Asian restaurant and the comedy club. You get the idea. It's it's a sim. It's pretty simple. Uh, they're uh, they're you know it, one of the nice things about it is it continues to make money when it's closed. So when you log in after say an overnight uh, uh, binge on sleeping, you'll come back and you'll have more coins so you can do more things. Um, I you know it's fun. I'm kind of stuck right here. If anybody can tell me why and how I can get my Asian restaurant and comedy club opened. I'd sure appreciate it. I, they've got stock. They've got employees. This one's fully stocked and fully employed, but I, I can't open it. The only thing I can do is paint it, and I'm tired of painting. You know, we got an email from Ben Papadopoulos, which is a great name, uh, and he sounds a little frustrated by Tiny Tower also. He said, I like it. Game is free, but it's slow and it's unplayable. If you don't spend a little bit, I've blown $30 already. And these in-app purchases aren't transferable. So I play the game primarily on my iPad, and then I can't duplicate my tower or transfer the game's currency that I purchased to my iPhone. Ah, it you... opened. It opened. So they were right. I just had to restock. That's all. I'd run out of. Uh... You're right. I mean, these games, the way they make money is by being kind of almost unplayable if you don't put cash into them. That bothers me. Now, I know that you're a sucker, so you, it bothers you less. Look, my Chinese res restaurant's open. Because you don't mind spending oh. money. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm so excited. <laughs> There's no more whiskey lunches on Thursday. <laughs> Jeez Louise. We're done with that. <laughs> whiskey lunch. <laughs> uh, in the photo studio, I'm going to have to hire some people. But this is good. Thank you, everybody in the chat room who told me, oh, you just have to restock. I thought I was fully stocked, but apparently I wasn't. So you stock. Uh, and by the way, they put a little exclamation marks next to... Uh, the place that needs some attention, and uh, they'll put a little elevator icon when somebody's ready to go, and you have to take them. So he says floor two, so I'll take them up. I actually quite <clears throat> like this game. It's very simple. It isn't as um, I feel as intrusive, perhaps as uh, as we rule. Mm -hmm. um, it's not as complex either, but it has that kind of Sim City feeling, which is kind of cool. Hey, a box of kittens. Oh, by the way, don't you love the eight bit design? A box of kittens has been delivered for Do you Lita think the eight bit design is why Tiny Tower is being so? been so successful yes. thus far yes. around a certain group of people yes. because I, I look at this and I say okay this is somewhat interesting but I'm not getting why it's 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 caught on so quickly there's something it's compelling about it thing. it's like it is it's it, it you know what it it's looks retro. a little like Donkey Kong yeah actually you're right yeah I hadn't thought about that I think especially some... with the vertical aspect exactly of it. and by the way this is only portrait that's why it's in the portrait mode see this poor person's going help me help me and I want to get to my apartment Dagna it. Yeah. So anyway, this is a That's tiny tower. It's free. It's free, and and I, well, I think it's free to start. I think it's playable without putting any money into it. It's just going to be a lot slower. But one of the things I really like about it that I think is better than some of these other games is when you close it, uh, it continues to acquire coins, and so every time you go back, you've got a little bit more going for you. Tiny Tower, our game number one, brand new. Yeah. Yeah, uh, as of uh, just a week ago. Yep. If you want to hand me the, uh, the audio jack. You want the jack. audio jack? Yeah, Are you I'll ready to give in. us some sound? Because this looks pretty cool, whatever it is you got going there. This is called Ticket to Ride. This was actually a, I had never heard of it. It was a suggestion from Mark Bolton. He lives in Hastings, England. And for whatever reason, you guys hear that? You got it. I hear it, yeah. Good. Um, there you go. 
whatever. It's like a piano. Yeah, for whatever reason, I had not heard of this board game, but it's very beloved by many families. What's the name of the board game? It's called Ticket to Ride. Never and heard. It's, of it. it's all about. It looks like he's got building, a golden. Building train routes. Oh, I want this. I like that kind of stuff. Yeah, it's it's pretty cool. Hello, another Sam. And welcome to Ticket to Ride. Sort Central. of, but there's a lot Geraldine less emphasis on people. Geraldine knows all about train destinations. Uh, make sure. Sounds. Hey. Visit old go Mr. Back to my game here. You got us ticket to ride. Come in, come in. Oh, I love this. Yeah, it kind of is like a board game. Mm, I'm Wait sure I've What's got going something on here. here. Here we go come back in, to my, come in, my home. You could tell Just these are all new games we haven't played much of. Well, I played it this Either morning. Oh, I see. I'm sorry. I just the classic US okay, so here's the deal. Ticket started. to Ride, most if people who are familiar with the board game know of the North American, the U.S. route. But they have a few different... Versions of the game now because it, you don't have to buy a bunch of board games. You just buy the one app. And by the way, this app is six ninety nine, so Ooh, keep that pricey. in mind. Yeah, okay. We've got a Swiss map. I We've got wanna, a European I think I map. I want to play this. This looks really great. It's actually, I think you'd like it a lot. But let's just do USA because it's something that a lot of people will be familiar with. I'll go ahead and say two players because I'm just going to be playing the computer. But you could actually play multiplayer online. How do you do that? Is it online or is yeah, it in the Bluetooth? It's on. It's on the internet. Yeah. Cool. Exactly. So if I go ahead and play. So it's turn based. Yes, that's okay. correct. So, video explaining, I've already watched that, not a big problem. I actually have the interactive tutorial on, just to, so you guys, if you're not familiar with it, get a sense of what you're supposed to do. Yeah, in real-time strategy games, it's nice when you first play when you the first few Because it can just, you can just be really daunting. The, yeah. the idea is that you are building railroad routes between cities, right? So, I let's say that I want to um, build a route between, oh... Nashville or Montreal and New Orleans. That sounds pretty cool. Okay, so this, this is the the route that I'd like to pick. No, oh gosh, now I forget again. How? Do you have to select a route first? Well, I did. I selected a route. Maybe I have to select my tickets. Hey. No, well, see, this is exactly what happens when you, you turn weren't off paying your attention to the tutorial. tutorial and yeah. now I'm confused again. Ticket to ride. Oh, okay. Plane train cards. Yeah, yeah, I got that. Let's get started. So let's get started. Choose at least two tickets. Oh, I see. Okay. You, didn't, you, you hadn't chosen connects. your tickets yet. Briefly so tap a ticket one. If you want to select it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Press done to confirm your What's choice. What's going on here? Ticket to ride. Press done. You didn't press done. No, I did. Oh. This is odd. Select a ticket, then press done. Press two tickets. But you need a uh, conductor for this ride. I'm so confused. Select What's the going two on here? Brown cards on the bottom. The chat room says. Yeah, oh, okay. All right. Time. Sorry. For some reason, I I I guess I just didn't. Can hold the trains it down. derail? No, they don't. They do not derail well, at Ryan all. Ryan wants to know if the trains can derail. So what you're doing is, I, I won't go into how complex this game is because there's actually more going on it than looks just like what it a, looks it like. It actually looks like it's a fairly complicated game. It's a fairly complicated game, but it's it's not hard. Okay, so I've got an opponent up here. He's he's my little bot opponent who is who who has played his turn. So what I do is, uh, let's say that my route uh, as as I chose, but this is from Salt Saint Marie now into Nashville. That's the route that I ended up choosing. By the way, Montreal. That's pronounced. La Sault Ste. Marie. Really? Now drop the card okay. on the route well. highlighted to play. <laughs> Thank you, <laughs> geriatric Hey, I go ahead and say it, and don't hey. make fun of me. So the idea is, is that, and I'll go through this really quickly, is that it's saying, it, this is, I also have help turned on right here. What I'm do, trying to do is build a route, a train route, between my two cities. I'm buying now, this program. This the looks more, so cool. The, the more complicated your route is, the more points you get. So it's actually not the quickest way from point A to point B, which kind of makes it fun. Now it's helping me along saying, hey, you can get to Toronto. So there's some brains required in this game. It's not just a... Yeah, there's brains required in the game. But it's also, it's like, the it's the kind of game where I think if you were a kid, you can say, oh, I've got two cards that Kids match the it. colors in these Kids could two yeah. Yeah, okay. edges of trail, so they can play along. But if you're an adult, you can get a lot I like, more. I like real-time strategy games, uh, you know, and this looks really fun, I have yeah. to say. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. So, again, I, this is just a very, very very badly played uh, Bong in our chat room says you will get addicted. I don't know if he's talking about the game, though. Oh, just addicted in general to yeah. drugs or whatever. Well, so if you try to, Bong. let's say, if you try to say, like, oh, I've got a yellow one here, Oh, well, this is a little work. like Settlers of Catan. I see where you're... That it kind of is, yeah. Yeah. I, I like that. I play Catan as well. Right. And you've got, like, wild card cards. So let's say that I only had... So at this, par at this part of my track, it's like, I need four yellows, right? But I do have wild cards. Right. So as long as I have a yellow and three wild cards, for example, I can play certain routes. And of course, what I'm doing right now is, I mean, this is like the easiest way. This would actually probably be a good uh, version to have on for a kid because they'll kind of just walk you through it. But let's say you were just confused 
um, it's you know it helps you just get started but if uh, if you actually want to play and be strategic about it obviously you don't have to have all these hints turned on at the same time anyway this is ticket to ride that was a really bad tutorial sorry guys but um, I did enjoy I, no, I did I'm a actually confused. really enjoy this this morning the the idea is is that you're 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 building train routes and once you have a train route that you um, have completed uh, you own it so it's it's sort of this almost is like, like a Settlers of type Catan. Of Have you ever played Settlers of Catan? I know it, but no, and, I haven't. And there's a and there's a great uh, iPad game, which you know, I didn't mention because it's been out for a while. But I should probably just mention it. But Catan HD, which is a very similar kind of a game uh, that you can play. Intrepid See, Seafarers course, is just. We'll, we'll oh, now your game is doing something. Now I'm doing fine because everyone stopped looking at me. Very good. No, now we're looking at you again. So screw up some more. This is Settlers of Catan, just briefly. And it, this is a setup, but you can uh, play the game. By the way, they have in-app purchases, which you need to buy if you want to get really sophisticated. There's a very good tutorial on here. Um, very similar game. It's a planning game. It's a resource game. Just It looks very similar to what uh, what Ticket to Ride is. Although, I just bought Ticket to Ride because that looks really fun. It's fun. Are you ready for arcade adventure? Are I, you ready for I action? I am. Please, Are you ready? Please show me up. For Sonic Racing, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Get sure. ready. Everybody loves Sonic the Hedgehog, right? Yeah, absolutely. This is a, an arcade where it actually was a big console hit on the Sega Dreamcast, the Genesis. There's Sonic. We all love him so much. And and uh, Sonic Sega R Stars Racing. So you get all the Sega uh, players. You get actually it's kind of what's kind of amazing. Couldn't connect to the game center. Huh? That's odd. Well, I don't really need that. What what's kind of cool about this? is uh, you get really arcade-style racing on an iPad. Uh, just as fast. Should I be Sonic or should I? I'll be Sonic. He's Sonic. a good guy. Yeah. And I am American. All right. You ready? Let's play a game. Would you like to go out for a test drive? Yes. Maybe I'd better. Go for a test drive again anytime you like. I think this is the thing. It's like when you first launch games, you have all these little pop-ups and tutorials because they all work differently. So some of these tutorials are, it's hard to show you guys because we're learning them ourselves. Well, I, you know, I, I play this game a lot in the, uh, in the, uh, on the, on the Dreamcast probably. I can't remember what it was. But you can see it's a lot of fun. It's, a, it's hard to play upside down and backwards. It's a typical driving game. Uh, I've got reverse. I've got uh, gas. Gas is automatic at this point. Oh, and I've just gone off the road. Now you do want to hit these bongers. Boing. Pull your iPad down a little bit. Oh, I'm so out of the screen, huh? Yeah. All right. the, well, racing games are tough because you get into it. Yeah, and I'm starting to You forget where you are. Watch this. The, the I always love Sonic because he could just really do some cool. Sonic's awesome. Oh, this thanks. game looks. Why do they keep doing that? Oh, they keep this to is help the tutorial you. level. It's the tutorial yeah. level. But anyway, you get the idea. Graphics could look nice. It's beautiful. And it I doesn't look is... too hard to drive. We've shown no. off driving games in the past that have been just almost too wily to be fun. There's the brakes. <laughs> Put on the brakes. Bye, Sonic. Be responsible. I see there's rings. There's kind of a tribute to the uh, other games. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Anyway, you get the idea. I don't want to bore you with this. Ah, we're my bad driving. But that is a very great Sonic Plus Sega All-Stars Racing. So we've got Tiny Tower. We've got Ticket to Ride, which is sort of old-timey uh, nostalgia. Oh, and I left one out. Yeah, game. I was going to show and them Kona's, Kona's Crate. Crate. So this is, we've talked about uh, Angry Birds, Cut the Rope, this, the physics games. Yes. This is a, another physics game, and it's kind of a fun physics game. It's a three-star, you know, you got to get three stars on the level. But this one is um, a little bit more like Lunar Lander. So, I've got it. There's the the tiki god. I've got to use thrust. <laughs> Not very good at it to get the crate over to Kona, the tiki god. And uh, of course, you get you get more points, the uh, more stars, the better you do this. I'll just go through a few levels. It gets much more complicated. This is just the first few levels. You steer with by tapping. I'm I'm whoa. Oh, whoa, whoa. You can see how this might have a high frustration level, but it really is kind of fun, too. And I love the graphics. I love how it looks. This is, uh, this that is called a sweet dancer. Kona's Crate. And it's getting harder and harder if I... Whoa, bad news. You get... <laughs> I've now got to restart because that's not going anywhere. I like the physics of it, but it seems a little... It's Lunar Lander is the game, really. Yeah. It. Yeah, it's the... the um... 
the weightlessness of everything is throwing me off a bit. Well, it's not weightless. Well, not weightless. Because I have to shoot my rocket weight, ship. It's it doesn't seem like actual regular gravity. Um, it's sort of moving in slow Yeah, it kind of feels a little molasses-y, doesn't it? But that's good. <laughs> and and by the way, for the person in the chat room, Jeremy S., who says, "Why are you flying a crate? Why the hell not?" You Why? Know? All crates should have wings and lightning bolts and tiki friends that dance. Make him dance. You get more there points if you land it. Yeah. yeah. Woo. Woo. Success. Very good. And I, I, have I, no I idea see. I got vines. Doing, by the way, I got Zero vines because I didn't hit the wall at all on that one. Okay. Yeah. Whoops. This see, is, now I'm not going to get vines. This game is is weird but i could see how it would be fun you because see it's, it's fun it's, it's fun for boys right well failed and girls and it's fun for like if you like to, to blow answer crap up. gendered yeah it's it's this is just strange this is uh this is the kind of game that would frustrate me but all physics so games frustrate me but i'm also addicted did to you them. ever finish uh, that dinosaur game ha 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 no i did not you never did no <laughs> I got too frustrated and I had to let it go. You were playing that on the plane when we were going to Vegas. I woke you up by going, ah, ah, <laughs> You did. Because I couldn't get past this one level and I was so close and you were sleeping soundly. I've had enough. Was I snoring? Uh, no, but you were just... I do tend to drool and snore, so you, you I'm glad were, I didn't you were, drool on you. You were drifting. There's a few games we've got more, of course. Uh, my app cap is, uh, is so many. Yeah, but your app cap. So there's one game left. In there's the show. some fun ones. These are all new. They were just uh, just added to the uh, store. Uh, Kona's Crate, Tiny Tower, Sonic Racing, and Ticket to Ride. Yeah, just four good examples of stuff. Hey, it's summer, man. I Go love nuts. these. Play I have some to games. say. Put down that math book. I have a whole page. You look at this. this is, these are all games on here. All these folders. Yeah, you're all games. Pretty I hardcore. Love, I love the games. Yeah, games are fun. Yeah. And they're you know it's it's if you don't like the game then you go ahead to another. At game, six so. bucks, it's not the end of the world. Right. Well, yeah. I, again, Ticket to Ride is was the most uh, expensive of our group. But look what Leo's installing right now. There you go. Well, you, you'll like that. I, it's my kind of game. I think you're gonna. You I like love it. it. I it's love it already. Stuff. If you want all the links, don't worry. If you missed anything, if you're like, what game was the second one that they talked about? We'll put all the links in our show notes at our show page. If you don't know where that is, it's twit.tv slash IPT. It's where you can um, make sure that you you know everything that we talked about on the shows. And if there was a show like five shows back and you could say, I don't know, should I watch this? You can always look at our show notes and just get a sense of all the stuff that we're going to cover. Uh, and that can be really helpful too. Of course, if you're not watching the show live, we do shoot our show live and we love for people to come and join us because you see the uncensored version of when things don't work, which is kind of fun for people. It's 1.30 p.m. Pacific and 4.30 p.m. Eastern on Thursdays. Actually, it's more like, I hate you, Leo. You are a son of a bitch. Screw you, Laporte. I hate you and you the troll. horse you rode in on. Get out of here. Scram. Scoot. <laughs> oh, wait. It's your company. <laughs> this <Damn>. show. <laughs> you can't get rid of me now. You succeeded at Tech TV, but no, I'm entrenched here. I am your minion. <laughs> <laughs> this show brought to you by our good friends at... Squarespace. Squarespace.com, the secret behind exceptional websites. All you have to do is go to squarespace.com and you can get a great sense of what it is by clicking that big green try it free button. Now I should explain this is hosting and the best darn web software ever. Not just a blog. It could be a photo gallery. It could be e-commerce. It could be a forum. They have forums. They have form building and data collection. And I'll tell you all the sites built by Squarespace are just in Incredible. You can get a sense of it by going to the examples page there at squarespace.com. Did you see what we did on Twit with no. Brian Brushwood? No, we created he, a site he, is the, he is the master of creating Squarespace of instant blogs. Squarespace sites. Yeah. So uh, what you Brian do... Brian is a unicorn. Yeah, Brian is a unicorn. So all you have to do to make a Squarespace blog is click that green button, name it, and then I did it on the air. I said, here's the password. So we had everybody actually fighting in the, uh, in the chat room to create this. But this is, this is the final... Version of Brian is a unicorn. <laughs> Got Squarespace, He's and there's Brian Justin. Rick. That's hysterical. Yeah, yeah. Isn't that great? That's not his body, by the way. It's not. I thought he was pretty buff. Brian. Definitely He's not his hair. chaps. How do you know? I don't. I'm guessing. <laughs> I, I, I really, wanna, really, really, really. I don't, don't want to know. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. I don't. This is this is so. There's the, nothing bad about this. It's a great site, and we did it. We did it with Squarespace.com, and you can do the same. 
In fact, this is a fun way to create site for friends or yeah. businesses or whatever. And you hand them the keys after you spend a, a little time messing around with it. Tell them all about it. Uh, I will tell you one important item uh, for your... Uh, for your delectation, we've got a special deal for you. Now, it's free to try for everybody, but only the folks who sign up for a Squarespace account and use the offer code IPAD today will get 10% off for the first six months of their Squarespace site. Now, hosting plus software, very affordable, as little as $10 a month, um, and you're getting the best hosting there is. But let me tell you something, folks. You cannot bring a Squarespace site down. It's just fantastic. It's the secret behind exceptional websites Thousands and thousands of them. Great stats. iPad, the iPad app, fantastic. Squarespace.com. Don't forget iPad Today 7. That's the coupon code to get 10% off for the first six months. iPad Today 7 at Squarespace.com. There have been a lot of rumors in iOS land over the last week. Really? The what rumors? are they rumoring? Well, it's like, when's the iPhone 4S coming out? Or are they September. just going to go to 5? iOS 5 comes out in September. What's it going to look like? Mm -hmm. How is it going to be different? I hear a, uh, you know a little something about something. What do you mean? Uh, I'm just saying. You, don't, don't you know mean. something about something? I know a lot of things about... <laughs> I, I know very little about a lot of things. Let's just say that. <laughs> is there going to be an This is what all I care about. Is there going to be an iPad 3? Well, there is going to be an iPad 3 eventually. When's it going to come out is the big question, and what's it going to look like? CNET and, says maybe this year. Well, but that, they're not the, we've been hearing that for a while. iPad 3 in I, September. Not, I, you know, I didn't think it was very credible. Yeah. But uh, apparently analysts now are saying it too, and it, maybe there is more to believe there was an analyst, uh, he works at, uh, yeah, Craig Berger at uh, FBR Capital Markets who says, not going to be the iPad 3 because all it's going to be is a uh, retina display bump. All it's going to be? Well, but that... I'll you, take it. I, you'll you'll take, well, of course you want that, but it's like, that's not really a whole new version of the iPad. I would feel Wouldn't like... Wouldn't you want a high-res version of, of the iPad 2? Of course I want 2? that, but what he's saying is it's probably more like an iPad 2 Plus. I mean, they're probably not going to use the word plus. Well, and it's not even a full retina display. It's only, according to him, yeah. 250 dots or pixels per inch. So that's not what the iPhone is. That's, uh, that's only about uh, two-thirds of what the iPhone is. Exactly. But I guess they... I don't know. When you have more screen real estate, maybe it's just a little bit tougher to actually go oh, full retina. You've got to consider battery life and, and you've got to consider cost. And cost and, and yeah. that sort of thing. But I do. I, but it I don't, is, it I is don't know twice, how. It is twice what the current iPad resolution And the iPad resolution, we've talked about this a million times. I know that it could be better, but it's not like I, 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 I play around on I don't on look my at it and say, oh gosh, I wish. If only this looked better. Yeah, no, not I'm with at all. you on that. Uh, I really need to blog. Your now. travel record is humiliating. That was a. Uh, you shouldn't be humiliated by that, that. That was an old blog post. It's those X-rays they've released from the. Uh, <laughs> the <laughs> that the, was the, the security most line. humiliating. Yeah. The way that they made a Squarespace blog out of my <laughs> my naked X-rays, uncool. Sarah has a bomb implant. So we don't. I. I mean, I don't. I don't have any information that that Craig wouldn't. I think it seems a little silly to think that Apple would go through the trouble of releasing. A souped up, a display version of an iPad that doesn't have any other bells and whistles, not a better camera. Well, I think it needs a better camera badly. Yes. I so totally maybe agree. we could throw that in. Well, I How just about don't... an SD card slot? I think it could use that. That would be awesome. Yeah. I would love that. Yeah. Gosh, think about it. Yeah, I mean, there's so many ways to wirelessly transfer things, but an SD card slot would be sorely needed. I think a better camera and a better resolution display, I'd be very happy. That would be a three, but not just the resolution. What I think else that people would do? say, I'm not going to upgrade for, to a iPad 3 and all of the, you, all, mean, the, all it is is better resolution. You can't get it fine. any thinner than this or lighter than this. Not much. You could get the screen better. I don't think you want to go 16.9. I have a number of widescreen tablets and they're weird. I like the size the way that this is, it is. This is probably the right aspect ratio. Then so again, just higher resolution and a better camera and I'm done. I'll never need to buy another iPad ever again. Well, so I don't know. I I I guess that would be the iPad 3. There's got We can't just say all we need is a better camera, better resolution and it can't be improved upon. I can see the that. first iPad was pretty great. I never thought that it was heavy. Well, it was I no, mean, now could, I no, think of it that no, way. No, no, you could always say that that was a little thick, a little heavy. But it was In fact, first, there are those so who say still pretty amazing. that Apple could have made it this thin and light all along and they all just along held and they just back. they just held back so that they'd yeah. get more of our money. I kind those of bastards. believe that. I believe it kind of. I 
Uh, it remains to be seen. But September is not that far away. Nope. We know that Apple is ordering a lot of parts from manufacturers, and they like to leak that sort of stuff out to Digitimes and right. others. And we've seen the iPhone uh, rumor, too. In fact, I believe that one so much that I, uh, my son uh, went swimming with his iPhone. Yes. So it didn't work, and he went to Europe today. So I said, well, here, take mine. We'll put the SIM card in it, which made it very easy for him to use it as his phone, because I figure I'll be buying a new iPhone in September. Now, what are you playing with? Are you playing with Bing? What is wrong with you? That's a Microsoft product so right there. I have always liked Bing for iPad. I think that it is a good app. It is not my de yeah, Bing is not default search on my iPad for just various reasons. But Bing, it, this is a good product, and I think anyone who uses it regularly would agree with me that it just offers you kind of a fun search functionality that you don't get uh, through regular search and Safari. And it's so, more than just search. I mean, it's maps are in there. Yeah, uh, videos. Reviews, news, video. It's yeah. really a all-in-one access to Microsoft. They do a pretty stuff. good job, yeah, of categorizing stuff. Um, and I just, you know, I, I like the way that they do things. Something that they have released in the last week, and I know you guys talked about this on Windows Weekly with Paul Throt, is lassoing search terms easily from within an article. So let's say that I'm... This is so weird. I know, it's very weird. So you have to press the lasso button. You do. So let's say I want to, I don't know, I, I want to get high on vacation. So I'm going ahead and I'm going to read a travel topic about an area of Bangkok with it's high in the mountains. Wow, that looks pretty cool. Okay, well let's say that I... Don't, don't overthink it, just pick something. Well, okay. Jeez. <laughs> I was searching for rant. Okay, now you press the lasso button. I, la I pressed the lasso button, and you can see it got a little bit darker. Yeah. So let's say that I want to search for serving of spectacular scenery. Now, see, here's scenery. my problem. There's no way to back out. As soon as you let go, boom. That's oh. the search. You see? I see what you're saying. Yeah, that's my problem with this. What you're doing is you're lassoing search terms. Yeah, that's nice. So it nice. says, hey, I got that. You just searched for right. a serving of spectacular scenery, and then I get all these search terms It's involved. easier than cut and paste. Now, that's a serving of spectacular scenery is not only a tongue twister, but it's, it's sort of a weird of a thing to search term. for. Yeah. That's not really that's what, what you I'm would saying. be searching for. Don't overthink for. it. You searched for something. We saw it worked. It's fine. Well, you don't have to somebody go is not that excited about lasso and bang. No, I'll tell you what. I mean, it's cool. I mean, it's basically what you do all the time with cut and paste. And since cut and paste isn't really easy on a tablet, it's nice. But there's, a, but it needs a way to back out of it. You, if you get, and it's easy with your thumb to get the wrong thing lassoed, and then you just go into the search. So now you got a backspace. Back, or you know, I see what you're saying yeah. because now I'm like, well, where's my backspace? Now how do you get back? You have to go all the way through. Well, that's crazy. Are you serious? Well, it just feels like it was an idea, but it wasn't fully thought it's out. It's an idea, yeah, because if you go back, you go back to the home page. By the way, another thing I hate, every time you launch Bing, it says, would you like to make Bing your default search engine in Safari? No, I always say no. No! But I'm I don't never going to change my mind. I don't want them to ask me that every time. Wow, Cars 2 pulled in 60 million? Wow. Jeez Louise. Not so good. Is, okay, all right, fine. Lasso no, I'm is, not complaining. Lasso I think it's is, innovative. It, it's a cool idea. Execution is a little meh, but yeah. in general, it does make uh, Bing we, for we iPad as an a, app cooler we, than it was a, yesterday. We do need a better way to do cut and paste searching because now I'm, I'm reading an article and I want to look up something in the article. Yeah. It ain't so, you know, I have to press here and get the magnifying glass. I don't even, I guess I can't get well, the magnifying glass. No, you're not pressing the magnifying glass first. I'm just saying I can't. Oh, there it is. Okay. And then I have to do, <laughs> you, you can see the problem. It's so hard to do. And now I have to do copy and then I have to go and So, So the magnifier here. in that way would save you some trouble. You just have to get, but you're not using the magnifier. No, I know. I'm just saying this is, instead of doing this, oh, we oh, do oh. the lasso. Right, right, right. But here's the problem with the lasso. Go ahead and try to accurately last suit see i was trying to get barack obama well you can do that you can, you, you're still you're fine leo now as soon as i let go i'm selecting it so i got it but i always get extra words right so now I, president barack obama and and, and actually not, i didn't i don't think you got it because it'll give you a little uh, i didn't even mark. i didn't even get it there's a little bit of a learning curve i bet one of you people out there within the next week will become the big now it wants to teach me expert. how to do it well because you don't clearly know how to do it very well <laughs> All right, I'm going to stop uh, fighting uh, with you. Uh, See, there you go. You learned. Look, President and Barack can, Obama and. We, and we can read all about <laughs> President Barack Obama and, and all sorts of other things. Yeah. All right, so that's the new feature in the App Store that Leo's. Maybe it's me because I have fat fingers. I have sausage fingers. You have y thin lady fingers. I don't actually. I also have fat fingers. They're just very small. You have lady hands. So they, they well, I don't look know. Look at, compare. They're little midget hands. <laughs> Well, that's appropriate. But compare. I mean, look, that does that not look like a Vienna sausage compared to that? Actually, no. 
I, I kind of have the same problem you have. Yeah, we both just have kind of short, stubby. And I'm we're, really we're stubby. stubby hands. Look how stubby those are. Yeah, well, good thing we're doing an iPad show. <laughs> we've, we've got we have the, to decide we're hand models new, after all. In the new studio, we do have to make a decision. You know, this show and it, this this we got two more shows here, and then in it's three shows we're going to be best. over next door at the it's new true. studio, mm -hmm. the Twit Brick House. That's right. Buy a brick, buy a brick, buy a brick today. Buy a brick, buy a brick, buy a brick today. Buy a brick, buy a brick, buy a brick today. At the brick <laughs> Twit House. Um, Please do, because it's, God, it's costed so much money. Um, we have to figure out. We can do screenshots without fingers. Mm -hmm. In fact, I'd like I to ask don't her do audience. I that, though. I like seeing my big fat thumb in there. I think that or, or it your, gives you or your context. Or like hand. You know, it, it, we, you could click on Green Lantern, but it would, it would, I think it's, I there would be something lost. We yeah. could do both. We could have done it here, but we decided we, not to. We could have direct scan out of our... Well, we've got all I sorts think of the options. best way to do it is what we do right now, which is direct camera yeah. shots of yeah. the screen. Admittedly, there's reflection and it's not perfect, but uh, I think this is a lot easier to see what we're doing than to take a take the video out of the screen, which is what we could do in the new studio. We tried that briefly yeah, at the beginning like of 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 the show of the series, and it just felt weird. Yeah. So we'll we'll play around with it a little bit. We'll definitely get the right formula together. We got a tip from Jeff Hardy who says this might be a bit techie for the average user, but I have figured out how to watch live TV on my iPad. I'm not going to go into all the details because he's not sure if he's you know doing anything that's a little... Mm. But I have Windows Media Center Box running as my primary DVR with a TV tuner fed by Comcast. I installed a program called Splash Top on my iPad. Which is a great Remote program. desktop software. Yep. A server version that's running on my Windows 7 Box and now I can use Media Center full screen on my iPad. I can change channels. I can watch recorded programs. Pretty much anything else I need to do. With a change on my router, I can do this from anywhere that I have a broadband connection. The quality and video is incredible. Look at How that. about that? So this is a, this is a clever idea. Yeah, I thought so. Basically, it's remote a remote access program that lets you see what's on your computer. Yeah, so he's just writing it through his iPad and says that the uh, he had actually attached a couple of pictures to show that the audio and well to show that the video quality we anyway, you. Uh, was good, but it was. You know that worked really well with. What? Netflix. But I You're guess you don't really thing. need that because, of course, you have Netflix on the iPad. Right. So so belay that remark. Okay. Forget I even said it. I didn't even hear it. You know what Netflix is, of course. It's that great DVD by mail system that is now even better because I can watch instantly thousands of movies and TV shows right on my iPad with the free Netflix application uh, or on your big screen TV. Many big screen TVs support it. Um, you can also uh, use a Roku box, many Blu-ray players, Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, Nintendo Wii. I think the uh, the iPad is is just a great way to do it. Here's the Netflix uh, interface on the iPad. Uh, you can uh, I was okay. Now this is really cool. So during um, Windows Weekly a few hours ago, I was watching Archer. Mm -hmm. See this button? Resume Archer. Whoops. I can go back to what I was watching. Even though I was watching it on a desktop, it knows what I was watching, and it will pick up the TV show on my iPad at exactly the same spot. Because you're not always going to be in your living room, or you're not always going to be mobile. So imagine. You, 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 you want start to watching to a show, and then you get up and you say, oh, i got to leave. But mm -hmm. in effect, you're taking that show with you without downloading anything or anything. This is the uh, Netflix app for the iPad. It, it syncs your paws. Fantastic. And look how good that looks. So good. Syncs your paws. Yeah. Not not these not, paws. Not your... The your, pause button. Your little stubby paws. That's Elvis Costello. That was something else I was watching. It's just really slick. I just love it. That's spectacle. So here's all the great movies. Browse through them. Watch them instantly whenever you're in the mood. If you're not already a Netflix member, and I know most of you are, go to netflix.com slash twit. You get 30 days free. And you know, if you don't want the DVDs by mail, it's only $8 a month for unlimited streaming, which is fantastic. But try it free for 30 days. Netflix.com slash twit. And if you've already got it, please do me a favor. Do Sarah a favor. Tell your friends. Tell grandma. Tell sis and Brother Joe. Have a competition with somebody to see how many movies or TV shows you can get through in 30 days. You could, you know, there's a neat feature on Netflix that you can follow your family members or your friends' mm -hmm. Netflix accounts so you know what they watch, you can watch together. It's really, I love Netflix. Netflix.com slash twit. Speaking of Netflix, we got a voicemail from Andre, who's down in Trinidad, of Trinidad and Tobago. <laughs> of Trinidad and Tobago And fame. he he's kind of a Netflix whiz. Let's hear. Okay. 
Hey, Sarah and Leo. This is Andrew from Trinidad. We be German, man. And I've recently cut the cord. I noticed you have a lot of international users. However, Netflix is not available outside of the U.S. The iPad supports the use of a VPN. What I did was I paid for access to a VPN, and using your Netflix code, voila, Netflix on my iPad, and even on my laptop. And the price of both is still half of my cable bill. Love the show. Thanks for everything. I wish Netflix were available worldwide. Although they are rolling out into more places. They were in Canada. I think they're going to the UK. Yeah, mm -hmm. they're slowly rolling out. But, you know, it's it's not Netflix's fault. Of course, they'd love to sell you their Netflix account. What they what, what they got to do is make deals in every country with the movie and TV companies. Right. So they are rolling out as fast as they can to as many places. And, frankly, it's not the same experience. Different movies in every country. Uh, same thing with Audible. Same thing with many of our sponsors. I get Occasionally, I get emails from people saying... Hey, you shouldn't talk about these things because we can't get them. It's 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 we're in a very new world where we this are. show is international, but all the advertising is national. Especially when Netflix does end up rolling out to the country from that someone lives in that they might feel left out. You want to know how cool it is, right? So that when you get it, you're already in the know. So Andre, I think the the system Andre is using is probably a violation of terms of service. I don't know. I wouldn't say there may not be any terms of service in hard Trinidad. To, hard to say. But uh, you certainly is one way to do it. And it I that think way. that his point that hey, it's half of what I paid for my cable bill is a good one. I'm a recent cord cutter, and we're saving fifty dollars right. a month. You're a cord cutter too. I'm a happy cord cutter. I watch a lot of. Have you ever heard of Chow TV? Have we talked about this? Is that a food channel? It is, but it's more. Sort oh, it's of on Roku. I've seen yes. it. Yes. Yeah. It is great. Anybody who's got a Roku box, <laughs> please start watching Chow TV to, if you're into food and cooking It's like at all. cooking, huh? Yeah, and they have sort of little tutorials or longer travel type stuff. Shows. Chow I TV, it. it's great stuff. They have they have a lot of cool people working um, on their videos, and it kind of came out of nowhere to me. Okay, we also got a tutorial video. This one's awesome. Lauren in New York sent us a t tip in response to us telling a previous caller, we don't really know how you would get a YouTube video into iMovie. Mm. We're not sure that that's possible. And he mm. said, actually, it is. We take you now to the streets of New York City. Hello, Sarah and Leo. This is Lauren from New York. And I just wanted to let you know that you were talking on your browser show a week or two ago about it being impossible to get YouTube video from the iPad and get it into iMovie on the iPad, and it's actually quite easy. All you need is a web browser called iCab Mobile, which allows you to save YouTube videos in a number of ways, including into your album, and from the album you can import it right into iMovie. No computer needed, you can then edit the YouTube video and do whatever you want with it. So I hope this is helpful to you and to your subscribers. Thank you. Thank you, Lauren. Why do I get the feeling that Lauren was watching the show as he was on the bus or the like, subway? I know the solution. <laughs> got off the bus and started recording his solution on his iPhone I, or iPad. I think that's so cool. So that's, cool. That's a, that's like instant. He actually sent us another video that's him walking through the tutorial of it. But I can show you the same thing here. If you open up uh, iCab Mobile. iCab is a, is a third-party browser for the... It, yeah. Uh, it's one of the many alternative browsers. So I'm not... I'm not Sure that other I think this browsers is just a feature of iCab. Yeah, is but it's this is this is the one that Lauren knows about. So let's say that I'm at a YouTube video, right? This is the cute Kitty little cat, video. cat mom hugs baby kitten. It's Aww. lovely. Everybody loves it. It's meow, 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 meow. Okay, so I'll go ahead and pause this. This is what yeah. I want to use in my movie. Go ahead and hold. Yes. I get a download file. That's prompt. what's unique about iCab. There you right go. There. Now, once I do that, here's my little download area. I've actually downloaded oh, this already because I have look proof at of concept. Because well, you love it. So cute, right? Okay, and that'll so that'll go right into iMovie. So it's down. Well, not necessarily, not not uh, automatically. What you do is you say save video in album. Okay, I'm gonna do that. All right, so we're good to go. So now it's in your photo album. It's in my photo album, which uh, is a little bit like photo album. Why is it in videos? It just isn't. But now that it's in my photo album, if I perfect. go into iMovie, perfect, which I will, perfect, perfect, perfect. let's say that I want to. Um, okay, so let's let's go <laughs> back to my is. projects. Well, I'll start a new one. So I'll show you how I did it. I go into my photo album, camera roll. This is down at the, uh, whoop. Hey. Hey. Find right it there. Knock it off. Hey. Hey. Hey, you. Hey. Hey, you. I'm talking here. Hey. Hey. Why didn't I die? Come on. I just did this earlier. I believe you. you. Oh, here it is. Okay, sorry. It's it, it actually, it actually it gets saved in your it. photo album on yeah. your iPad app, but it actually gets pulled in from the video area on iMovie. And again, I've done this once already, so it's showing twice. But let's just say I want it to go into my stream. And then you hit play, and it plays. 
Wow. So there you go. We were wrong. It is totally possible. Well, Thank you, but it, it's not that we were wrong. It's there is a way to do it if you know the right software. Well, we were I, wrong. We were wrong. We weren't wrong. Because we said we didn't know how... Well, okay. We didn't know how to do we it. We were ignorant. With the stuff that's on your iPad, the normal browser, you can't do it. But that's it turns right. out there is a way to do it. We were not in the know, and now we are. And uh, yeah, it was good stuff. That, and that was actually really easy. I mean, you, you saw what I did. It wasn't that hard. By uh, the way, they're saying sure in the chat room use... that they love your ponytail. Is that a pony or a pig? It's a pig. Okay, just checking. Ponies, uni. Pig is uh, Duo. bye. Duo. <laughs> Okay. Duo. Duo. Mm -hmm. We want to hear from you guys. You know where to find us. Where? iPad today at twit.tv. Yes, indeed. That's uh, if you want to just write stuff. If you want to leave us a voicemail, that's 757-504-IPAD. Hold on. Say that slower. 757-504-4723. Thank you. Or for extra points, send us a video. Lauren, you rock. Uh, it can be a question or comment, an idea, tutorial, kind of anything you want. Try to keep it to 30 seconds or less. That's helpful for us. Just upload the video somewhere and send us the links, and we'll use as many as we can. You know we what my you iPad advance. is chock full of? What's that? Audio books. Oh, Look at all yeah. of these. Look at all. These are all the audio. See, I like to put audio books on my iPad because then whenever I'm in the mood, I can I can listen to an audio book. Here's Shadow Country, Shantaram, Wizard and Glass. That's the Stephen King uh, Tower, Dark Tower series, Count of Monte Cristo. Cro-Magnon. Oh, I really can't wait to hear this. This is how the Ice Age gave birth to the first modern humans. Doesn't that sound good? These all come to us from the... Oh, she's not there. Don't look. Don't look. These all come to us from the great place we know as audible.com. If you would like to uh, join Audible, I got a way you can look at it for free. Look at it for free for your first month. Just go to audible.com, audiblepodcast.com slash iPad today. Is that right, Sarah Lane? That's correct, Did I Leo. get that right? You sure did. And uh, and did you see the Game of Thrones? I have oh, never watched it. Oh, on HBO? It. Oh, you're, you're, you're a cord cutter. I'm a cord cutter. Better than, well, you know, it'll be out on Netflix soon, but... Well, iTunes, the, I think, I, is my best Read bet. the book first. I'm just telling you. Okay. It's a great production HBO did, but read the book first. And this is actually a five-book series, a fifth book just about to come out. So now's the time to start The Song of Ice and Fire. Book one is Game of Thrones. HBO just did its adaptation for it. You can get this absolutely free, 33 hours, and it is engaging. Roy Dotrice, who reads it, does a great job. We were talking about this with... Uh, Brian Brushwood, because he's, of course, a big fan, too, of all the Song of Ice and Fire books. Um, and the new one is going to be out any day now. So there's book one. Book two is A Clash of Kings. HBO is going to produce that next season. I bet they get renewed for A Storm of Swords, A Feast for Crows, and the fifth one, which is due out any minute now. A lot of great reading awaits you, but your first one's absolutely free. <laughs> we'll get you hooked. <laughs> Go to audiblepodcast.com slash iPad today. 33 Seven hours for free. Yeah, isn't that great? Yeah. 75,000 books here. Fiction, nonfiction, New York Times bestsellers. Nowadays, almost every book that comes out comes out in audio. Zombie Fest. So it's a great way. Oh, this, is, this Richard Dawkins, The Blind Watchmaker, is so good. So there's so many skinny dip Carl Heiss. See, this is a problem. Every time I come here, I find more books I want to listen to. Audiblepodcast.com slash iPad today. And now it's time, ladies and gentlemen, for Sarah Lane to wear a funny hat. It's Christmas in July. <laughs> oh, 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 Merry July. Oh, 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 oh. It's well, summer gonna, vacation. If you're going to wear a big hat, I better wear a big hat. Wear it. It's, wear it proud. It's App Cap time, ladies and gentlemen. It's the App Cap Awards. This is the part of the show where Leo and I pick one app we just love for where, whatever reason. Where's my lasso? Well, <laughs> you, it could be like a lol meme, you know, it's like invisible lasso. It's invisible lasso. And you're just sort of pulling nothing. So just in case you're wondering, we wear these funny hats for uh, one reason, one reason only. To talk about apps yes. and to look silly in yeah. the process. It's our App Cap Award. What's a show without a little fun, right? Yeah, so these are App Cap Awards. Uh, I was having a glass of vino with my friend Aubrey last night, mm. and she was, this was actually on Obs. Her, uh, Obs, yes. She was on her iPhone, and she was uh, she was looking at her schedule for today, because she works at Facebook, and she's a really busy gal. And she, her calendar uh, view looked nothing like what the, the, the iOS calendar app looks like on my iPhone. And I was like, How'd what? she do that? What are, what do you mean? Go ahead. 
Oh. Uh, what? I'm just playing along. Oh, okay. It's like the equivalent of saying, <laughs> Amen, sister. Amen, sister. It didn't look anything. Ah, I'm right. with you. Hallelujah. So this is the regular calendar, right? Yes, so anyone I've who, seen that before. Who's, who's used to that is like, yeah, we know. You know, you yeah, TNT yeah, and you yeah. got iPad today on Thursdays and blah, blah, blah. And you can you, you can look at a list or a day and this and that. Well, she didn't have the same view at all. How'd she, she said, do that? She said, oh, I'm using something called Agenda Calendar. It's 99 uh -huh. cents. How can you not have this? And I said, I don't know. I just don't. I want it. Agenda Calendar. And I'll show... And, and and the reason that uh, I think it's great for the iPad, even though it is technically an iPhone app, is because, let's just go ahead and open up that same calendar I was looking at my iPhone and the iPad. Nothing wrong with this calendar at all, but it looks a lot different, and I think that that sometimes trips me up a little bit. I rarely... It looks you mean it looks different from the iPhone? Yeah. It looks much better, but right. it's different. It's 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 not similar enough so that you know what I don't it like about it. Me from using it. I and keep you can't flip the pages. Yes, I keep swiping to flip the page. It and looks it like a book. Why doesn't it, <laughs> it doesn't, flip? You have to press a little button at the bottom. Yeah, that's stupid. It really bothers me. I can't believe they've not fixed that. I don't know why they it's don't funny. do that. We did not compare notes beforehand. That we both had the same complaint about that. You should be able to swipe that page. It really bothers me. Yeah. It, and it's yeah. So and it's, it's not only do they not look very uniform. Um, and by the way, I mean, this, these are uh, my iCals, what, where I get all this information because I sync everything, um, mobile me and, and variety of stuff. But here's what's cool about Agenda Calendar, even though it doesn't really work very well in, um, in landscape mode. So let's well, go Well, because it's an iPhone app. Yeah, but... I wish they'd do an iPad version of this. Oh, that's much nicer looking. So here, it's I'll just, just it's, I'll you know what? You. That looks fine on the on double double. Yeah, size. well, because it's all text. Yeah. I mean, calendars. The scale's fine. So here's the deal. I'm looking at um, here. Let me. I'll just. Oh, it I'll does what it's way. supposed to do. You it can does scroll what it's it. To do. So here's my year. We're in July. Go through December. Okay, fine. Here's my month. Yeah. Okay. So here's today. Yeah. You know, eighth, ninth, coming up. Here's my. Oh, this uh, is much better. Yeah, it's my week. You're right. This is so much better. Here's my day. And then here's like what's next, right? Yeah. So it, I have a variety of views. You really don't do much, do you? Well, this, you know what? Actually, I, I actually have two calendars. My Twit calendar is not that exciting. Uh, I'm not showing you guys all the stuff I do in my the, personal the time. The hotsy stuff. Because that's really stuff. none of your business, Leo. You know, buy snake. I can add an event easily. Race and, motor cars. And if you say, well, wait a second, I use like Microsoft Exchange or Depp. I like my Google Calendar, that's fine. It, anything that will sync with. Um, the iOS calendar, uh, which all of those do, um, w it can sync here. So it's this is where you manage your calendar areas. You can add a calendar um, and so on. And then they've got so sort it's got of all like, the functionality you'd expect. These folks at uh, getappsavvy.com, that's their address, have 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 other stuff that they do. I'm buying um, it right now. They, yeah, they seem like a bunch of savvy folks. Yeah. What I like about uh, agenda calendar though is it just looks cooler. Then the same calendar that I'm already using. I mean, we all need calendars, right? Isn't that I mean, a sad statement, though, that an iPhone app looks cooler than the native iPad app? Yeah. That's not so good. Well, I think you need to work on what's that. What's also good about it is that then if I open up Agenda Calendar on my iPhone, it looks, it looks the exactly same. the same. Yeah. That's the key. I want them to look the same. You know, screen real estate should not mean that all the colors are different and... And the functionality is weird, this is and the swiping, great. and this you see what I mean? Isn't that, that cool? Yeah, I love it. It's and, just very natural. And like you said, this is a good example of yeah, you gotta blow it up to two x. But it, it looks, looks fine. fine because it's all text. It's yeah. you know, it's boring. It's a bunch of numbers. You know. I yeah, really, I, I, I like how this uh, how this works. And you jump right to it. Here, let's let's see what on July twenty fourth. What are you gonna do? Oh, you have a massage. How nice for you. Yeah, actually, but the day yeah, before, the day we five. move to the new studio and that's <laughs> yeah. why I'm going to need a massage Better, and for some reason tissue. God only knows Chris Perillo's birthday is in my calendar okay well you've got birthdays turned on and apparently you've uh... <laughs> apparently I know his birthday and it's all day it's all day <laughs> All Wait, right. You exercise a lot. So that's agenda calendar again, 99 cents. <laughs> no, I just not... put it in my calendar. I don't actually do it. <laughs> if, you're not, if you're not happy with uh, the, the default iOS calendar, at least on the iPad, give it a try. You might like it. A long time ago, in a land far, far away, there was a great game that we all played endlessly on the Macintosh computer. It, what, get your hat out of my shot. Sorry. It, <laughs> I'm just so it, happy. It was it was the first great game on the Macintosh. It came from a company called Bungie Software. You may remember Marathon. Well, Marathon's back, baby. It's Marathon Day today. This is the brand new release of a game that anybody who had a Macintosh in the early days will fondly remember. 
as the, the great the Macintosh history game. The upper gallery is a quiet place that nestles against the great cliff that houses the huge. Wait, you know what? I got a book still going. That once flourished nearby. Yeah, I was like, this is a really <laughs> weird. Marriage. I'm listening to Cro Magnon. I didn't even know it. Let's get out of that. <laughs> That's so strange. I didn't even know that was still playing. That was very strange. Back to Marathon by Bungie. Now, if you ever play this, by the way, this was the uh, Bungie is a company that later went made Halo. And if you start playing this, you'll see how much like Halo. Uh, this game looks. It's a first-person shooter. I'm going to start on easy because uh, I, I really don't. It's been a long time. I don't think this game has suffered in the least, by the way. I think it is, it's really a fantastic first-person shooter. I think you're going to be very excited by this. I guess it's still loading. There we go. Full weapons, infinite ammo, invincibility, instant shields. You see I'm playing very easy. There's even a Master Chief. Save anywhere, start on any level. Touch to continue. So, you see it's got a joystick. Mm -hmm. It's got uh, a heads-up display here. Here's the triggers down here. I can aim over here, pause. I can even see a map. You this ready to go? so you. Oh, this is the this greatest is so game you. ever. It's Bungie. You say and, that every game. Oh, 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 oh. Kill him! It is a little Doom-like. Very. Yeah, but remember, Doom uh, was on the PC, and we didn't have anything like Doom on the Macintosh. Right. So. That's true. It's free. Graphics are a little in. Eh. Well, it's old. That, that's the fun of it, huh? Yeah, this is like in the eight. You this is care. like the first game. They're but you know, they're, actually, gameplay is pretty good. Kill the blobs. Well, th you know, if at a distance they're aliens. Right. It, close up, they're blobs. Uh, this does give me like a seven years ago retro feel. You, you know, yeah, I just this game had such great memories for me. Oh wait a minute, I'm going back. Oh here we go. Yeah, let's wander around in the. Anyway, this is Marathon. Just came out today. It's free. Deserves a lot of attention because it really it's free. I wonder if that barrel will explode. Should I? Yeah. Should I shoot it? Maybe get some gasoline. Nah. Uh, shucks. Shucks a Rooney. You should be able to kill the barrel. It's kind of hard to play these games. Uh, Backwards and upside down. You're like best game ever. This is hard. <laughs> it's hard. I've got it on easy this. mode. Are you kidding? So quickly we change our minds. But well, again, free game. What's it's not, easier with a keyboard. Like? No, and and it's and it really is a bit of Mac history. So it's probably a, a good thing for anybody to try. The inspiration for Halo down the road, you'll recognize a lot of uh, features that uh, later made it into Halo for Bungie software. It's Marathon, and it is a classic. That's why I give it my. App cap of the day, little lady. All right. Just lasso oh, oh, one up oh. for yourself today. Merry July. Merry Gelato. Merry iPad. You got it, baby. And that's it. We're done. We're done. We thank you for joining us on iPad today. We we'll hope you come on back now, you hear. Remember to subscribe a million different ways at twit.tv slash IPT. That's our show archives. Every show we've done. This is episode 53, by the way, so we are more than one year old. Boy, howdy. Oh, uh, yeah. I love that. Don't forget now, we're going to be moving to a new studio a couple of the days. A couple of weeks ago, make it look so good. You are going to love it. You won't even know what you're looking at. But it's costing me an arm and a leg and uh, I don't right. want to walk tilted so if you would like to help out I invite you to go to bricks.twit.tv and pick yourself up a brick they're not very expensive and actually what will happen better is, than a rawhide they'll take this here brick and they'll mail it to us and then we will we well, will put it in the winter. wall and then you can have a commemorative brick in the wall of honor we're gonna have a big old wall too by the way We've already sold a thousand bricks. We hope to sell another thousand to help defray the expenses. So, bricks.twit.tv be part of the exciting new Twit Brick House, our brand new studio. So, believe me, we're trying to save money. Bricks.twit.tv, your money will be spent well, and you will get a brick on the beautiful wall of honor and beautiful uh, Twit Brick House. Thanks Thank for you, joining everybody. us on iPad today. Goodbye. Woo!